Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about the gangster profile of an individual named Luis Bachica on the evening of Easter Sunday, 2008. Anne Marie Martinez, who was walking, and her boyfriend, Richard Lopez, who was riding his bike, were going to Lopez's mother's home. This was between 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. A white SUV approached them from behind and stopped. It had two doors, tinted rear windows, and the front windows were lowered. Miss Martinez later identified Luis Pachica as the passenger in the SUV and Michael Montano as the driver. She did not know either man. Lopez was between Martinez and the SUV, but Chica pulled out a semi-automatic handgun, cursed, demanded to know where they were from, said F peanuts, repeated Big Bassett and Big Bassett Grande. Peanuts is a derogatory and disrespectful name for the Puente gang, but Chica hit the gun against the door of the SUV. Montano got out of the vehicle and said, who the F are you dogging and what the F are you looking at? As he approached Lopez, Montano hit Lopez in the head. He tried to get around Martinez to hit Lopez again and she pushed him. Montano socked her out and pushed her back. Lopez grabbed Martinez and pulled her toward him. Martinez said, we're not from nowhere. At that point, Montana walked back toward the passenger door of the SUV. But Chica opened the passenger door and got partially out. Both Montano and Bachica got back into the SUV and Bachica yelled, F you, F peanuts, big bass at grande. Luis and Michael drove around the corner and Bachica fired six to eight shots towards Martinez and Lopez. Martinez saw the first shot and ran back toward Lopez to throw him to the ground. She received a grazy wound in the back as she ran. Lopez was shot in the head. The SUV drove away. It was stipulated that Lopez died from the gunshot wound to his head. After a radio broadcast of the shooting with the description of the SUV, Montano and Bachica were pulled over in a white Bronco SUV. Bachica resisted submitting to a gunshot residue test in the field, which was positive. Martinez went with the officers to a field identification. She saw a white SUV. She was certain that was the SUV involved in the shooting. The first suspect she saw was Bachica, whom she identified immediately as the shooter. She also identified Montano as the second man in the car. Carmen Martinez, who has no relationship to Anne Marie Martinez, heard the gunshots fired at Lopez and Anne Marie Martinez. She saw a white blazer type vehicle zoom by her home when she was gathered with family members in the front yard. Like Anne Marie Martinez, Carmen testified that there was an empty tire rack on the back of the vehicle. She thought there were four occupants. Carmen told the detective that the driver and front seat passenger had shaved heads. Both Luis and Michael were arrested and were each charged with one count of murder and one count of attempted murder. Both Luis Pachica and Michael Montano were found guilty and convicted on all charges. Both Luis Pachica and Michael Montano were sentenced to an aggregate term of 84 years to life in state prison. Luis Pachica was admitted to CDCR on April 14, 2009 from Los Angeles County to serve life with a possibility of parole for first degree murder and attempted second degree murder with the intentional discharge of a firearm causing great bodily injury or death, use of a firearm, discharge of a firearm, and committing a street gang act during a felony. 15 years later, after the crime that landed Luis Pachica in prison, on this year, on Thursday, January 12, 2023, Luis Pachica was attacked by three other incarcerated persons. At approximately 6.29 p.m., officers responded when incarcerated persons Victor Madero, Ricardo Nava, and Edgar Castillo were attacking Pachica in a day room. Staff quickly quelled the incident. But Chica, at 34 years old, was taken to the prison's triage and treatment center for injuries he sustained from the attack, and Kern Valley State Prison staff summoned an ambulance. He was pronounced dead at 7 p.m. Officers recovered two inmate manufactured weapons.